Welcome to Radio Boomers Live, the show about all things human from a baby boomer's perspective. All things hot and all things not. News, reviews, interviews, chat, text, and what's next. And here are your hosts, Risa Gray from Betty White's Off Their Rockers and Easy's dad, Jim Zuli. Good morning, Radio Boomers Live listeners around the world, and good morning to our Radio Boomers Live Easy Way family. And is Risa Gray our superstar host out there? Good morning, good morning, there she good is. morning. I'm here. <laughs> good morning, Risa. And uh, we're here in what used to be Southern California on a sunny day, but not so sunny today, Risa. Sorry about that. What can I say? A little bit, little bit overcast. It's so beautiful. In it L.A., we, need... we didn't get any real rain. We just got a little misting, which our plants needed. Uh, we have a raging fire out here, so oh, they yeah. needed a little misting there, too. So it's not Actually, bad. That it's helps still a little lovely, bit. L.A. Uh, you ever been around an area that you had to worry a little bit about, uh, you know, what's going on? Uh, hey, I'm a little bit no, nervous. I, I see an orange glow in the sky. You ever had that, Reese? Well, I live in California, so I live in fear of earthquakes. But other than <laughs> that, we're pretty safe. We're, I haven't lived in the fire zone or a flood zone. Oh, laugh if you want. <laughs> you live in earthquake area. <laughs> but no, it's, um, it's, it's pretty nice in L.A. We don't have to worry about tornado season or anything like that. Now, you live in a part of Orange County. Don't the fires come near you sometimes? We, we've had a couple, uh, not too close, but we did have Laguna Beach uh, at one time, and that's a little bit too close for comfort because when you get a few ashes coming down, uh, so, I, you know, I make sure it's a little trimmed around the house, things like that, but I do have a lot of trees and bushes. What You know, I just like the trees and bushes, but, you know, you got to be careful. And when you live in areas out there where it's dry, you have to – you have to consider that, right, Reese? You have to uh, not want a lot of dry shrubbery around your house. That's probably, as, probably not a good As thing. much as I would love to live in the hills, it's beautiful. The fires scare me. But you know what? They have goats now that will come and eat away all the bushes around your house. Well, I heard you that. Rent you heard of order... Yeah. Did yeah, you have your goats? You just rent a herd of goats. No. <laughs> like you said, I don't live in a fire zone. But we need to move on. Hot topic our time. Hot topic. Oh, our typical drum roll. There we go. Ripped from the headlines. Today's hot topic. Now, just when you think you've got it all figured out, they change it again. I'm confused. They're, even the news is saying they're confused. Should you go maskless, whether you've had a vaccine or not? Should you stay wearing your mask, whether you've had a vaccine or not? Are you fully vaccinated? Are you partially vaccinated? I don't know what they want from me. I really don't. As for myself, I'm pretty much wearing the mask. I did go to an event yesterday. I didn't wear my mask for most of the event. Half of the event was outdoors. It is so confusing. People don't know what to do. Well, follow your heart is what I have to say. Um, There are places that are demanding that you wear your mask. Ricky Schroeder went absolutely nuts at Costco because they wanted him to wear his mask, and he said, I don't have to. The guideline really is you have to follow your local mandate. And here in California, we have not been released from wearing our mask. I have a dear cousin who is on a ventilator in the hospital now. I don't know if he was wearing his mask or not, but he decided to travel, and he was a high risk, and now he's in the hospital in the ventilator. So pray for Huey if it comes across your mind. But use wisdom. Use wisdom is all I can say. I'm wearing my mask for a little while longer. I am going to social distance. I've been fully vaccinated. So I'm I'm doing everything I can. I hope you're doing everything you can, too. 
Jim, what's your hot topic? Well, the economy getting back in gear, experts say uh, printing money, though, uh, that's not really the, the solution, according to the experts. Uh, Steve Forbes is, has a report on that, and uh, it, it can in the future cause strain on the economy. But, uh, you know, what it is is the overprint, and, and then you, you're facing uh, the inflation situation. Uh, back, if you remember a long time ago, the stories about Germany and uh uh, other countries, they printed too much, and it cost you uh, a wheelbarrow full of money to buy a loaf of bread. So we're not there yet, but uh, yeah, we we got to watch the uh, printing money thing. Well, I don't know what we can do about that, but uh, yeah, just uh, try to put a little something away. Colonial pipeline reaching full capacity after uh, the hackers cause a shutdown. Colonial carries 100 million gallons per day of gasoline, diesel, and jet fuel. Uh, but they have that back on track. Israel Gaza conflict uh, back in the picture. They're firing missiles over into Israel. Israel is responding with bombing. <clears throat> so they're going to have talks to see if they can calm that situation down. New rules for uh, tipping across the country. The bars and restaurants are open. And uh, one of the problems is there's now so many customers, which is a good problem for the owners, that uh, the waitresses and the cooks are having a hard time keeping up. I went into a Denny's the other day, and uh, I did a carryout, though. It was packed. Uh, a rusting oil tanker, big old oil tanker, just sitting out there drifting off the coast of Yemen is an environmental catastrophe, they say, waiting to happen. This, some of these ships just sit around and float until they hit some remote island somewhere or whatever. That's a big job trying to dismantle them, and they got to be careful they don't leak. In horse racing, another big race to Preakness, uh, they had the uh, situation where the owner, uh, he had uh, Bob Buffett. He was accused of doping the horse after testing positive. And then uh, House Republicans voted out Liz Cheney from their leadership ranks. Uh, so, yeah. She'll keep moving on and doing doing whatever she does there. Well, governments always need to uh, print the currency, and we went over that. Uh, there's a lot of stories on that. As Steve Forbes says the Federal Reserve is printing too much money, in turn it devalues the dollar. Uh, I want to do a report on that because I uh, I think that'll help as far as your savings and so on and all that goes. Uh, mm-hmm. But. So anyway, Reith, we have uh, another thing coming up with this Roe versus Wade. They're bringing that back to Supreme Court, and uh, we're going to see what happens with that. Oh, NASA did, uh, they detected constant humming out in deep space, I think ET's trying to call home. And out in San Diego, a naval ship had, uh, whatever it was, they don't know, it was hovering in the sky and then went down into the ocean. Everybody goes, yep, right, conspiracies. Well, <laughs> there was a lot of naval people, a lot of people getting videos of this stuff, and they're trying to figure out if maybe it's a high-tech spacecraft they're working on. Who knows? And uh, Ellen DeGeneres is ending her long-running career after 19 seasons, uh, falling numbers and so on. But, uh, hey, what the heck, she made the 19 seasons. That's not bad. Uh, how many seasons did – well, let's see. We're going to move into a commercial time. There's so much I want to cover and talk to Reese about regarding these shows, but we got to go into commercial. (laughs) Yeah, we'll go that and that later. Are you looking to accelerate your influence? EasyWayToWall.com is a new site that allows you to promote yourself, business, brand, and your products as an influencer. You can share your ideas, receive comments, promote and brand yourself with the power of affiliation. Associate yourself and your brand with the power players of today to become leaders of tomorrow. Come and join the EasyWay Wall today. Sign up at wall.easywaybroadcasting.com or text EasyWay Wall to 55678. The Brain Tap is a unique headset that combines light and sound frequencies with guided meditations. Dr. Patrick Porter, inventor of BrainTap and member of our faculty, has created 20 to 30 minute course reviews for many of our courses. Before starting a course or at any point before taking the exam, you can put on your BrainTap, close your eyes, and begin your course review. Brain tapping guides your mind from an awake, reactionary mind into an intuitive, creative state, then to a place where super learning and healing can occur, with the outcome being a heightened state of consciousness with crystal clear focus. Relax with scientifically proven techniques that create a symphony of brainwave activity, a 
feeling of calm focus that's just right for learning and productivity. Each session is designed with brainwave balance in mind. Some audio sessions have dual voice processing, which means you may hear two voices speaking at the same time. This technique is used for inspiring left and right brain balance. Yes, indeed. Brain tap is revolutionary. I'll tell you, it's a game changer. And uh, we have our brain tap. So tap in your brain. Jeffrey Levine is going to be our guest today, and we're going to be waiting and taking notes because what's going on in the world today, we need more Jeffrey Levines. He's a former tax attorney, certified financial planner, co-authored eight books, and it's not easy to do one. Executive producer of documentary documentary Beyond the Secret, the Awaiting, the Awakening, of uh, forty years has helped individuals and business owners grow their wealth and made sure it lasts for their lifetime. See, that's he's on the Easy Way Wall of Fame. He's a co-founder of JLS TV, executive producer of Wealth Builders. Jeffrey Levine, are you on with us? Hi, James. Can you hear me? There he is. Jeffrey, Reetha Gray is on with us. Reetha, do you remember Jeffrey? Hi, Reetha. Good morning, Jeffrey. It's always great to have you on. We get great tips and information from you. Well, thank you. So, and Jeffrey, it's great we're, on. we're working on our program. Uh, it's, it's very complicated and very high-tech. Uh, Reetha's building a machine so we can duplicate and make more Jeffrey Levine's, we need more of you out there uh, with what's going on in the world today, Jeff. I'll tell you, uh, getting stable, getting planned. Where were you 30 years ago, Jeff? So we could have got some advice, and so many of us are not in good enough shape. The baby boomers, right, Jeff? Financially? Well, yeah, we do have a challenge out there, James, as you know. Uh, saving money is not something we're taught anywhere. Uh And then we go out in the real world and we make some money, but it's so easy to spend money. That's what we're taught is to spend money rather than to save. So what I had to do in my practice is actually take money from my clients. I did automatic savings. They didn't even see it happening. And it's magic. It really is, because when you do that, the money builds up over time, and you have time with the investment, and you leave it alone. You don't touch it. Yeah, don't touch and, it, yeah. Like your equity, yeah. yeah. Now, you go to school, James and Aretha, and you don't, you don't learn that, and you have to learn it on your own, and it... it you know, you have a job, you have a family. When are you going to find time to learn it on your own? Exactly. And that's really why you need experts. I uh, if you saw have- an article in DMN3. It said that uh, uh, as far as the art, there's a survey with our over 72% of baby boomers expect that they will have to delay the retirement, and 50% of boomers don't expect that they will ever be able to retire. Can you believe that? Uh, Wow. So when you meet with people, are you seeing, uh, I I suppose you meet with a wide, wide range, but you know, people our age were in our seventies, but uh, is is that what you're seeing? And is there any, do we just go, Oh, well, there's nothing. Is there any kind of options for us in our late sixties, seventies that we should maybe have a financial plan? Well, yes, because hopefully with longevity, we'll be around for a while. And How much longer is that, Joe? (laughs) What? I was just kidding. How much longer will we be around? That's not a question for you, but, you know, I'm just kidding. No, but, you know. It could be longer than we think. It could be, and we we don't know. Yeah, we don't know, James. We don't know. All we can know is we're in Arizona. I'm in a community. And there's a lot of older people on the pickleball courts, tennis courts, golf course, and, you know, they're taking care of themselves pretty well. And if you have 
longevity in your family, there's a pretty good chance you'll be around for a while. You hear I saw the oldest guy alive is 111 years old. So we could have a lot of wow. time left, Jim. <laughs> yeah. Well, Arisa, that's a long time. We See, we, we don't know, and that maybe is the exception, but there's lots of people out there in their 90s and retired at 60, and that's a long time. It's a long time, yeah. A long time. I got a friend of mine. Longer and longer. <laughs> yeah. Friend of mine's 96. What? Friend of mine's 96, World War II veteran, and he just complains all the time about he has stage four everything. Kidneys are failing. I said, Tom, you're not going to go anywhere for a while. You complain too much. Cranky people live longer. And, they and don't want you to go out. He's just he's complaining so much. He's, he's going. So, you know, what would be uh, – now, we have this inflation situation going on, you know, the printing of money. You, you know the scenario there. Basically, what you're telling us is reverse the trend, the mindset – of uh, this is where brain tap could come in. Reverse the mindset of taking the card and going out buying something. Instead, turn it around and have a mindset of hey, let's look at that list and get that list lowered of debt, and let's look at the other list of savings and get excited about that number going up. That's what needs to be done, right, Jeff? That's correct, James. It's all about responsibility and taking responsibility for your situation because your situation can affect a lot of other people. And, exactly. And it's really important, and a lot of people don't take the time, James, but to sit down with somebody, just have a first interview with somebody in the financial uh, realm and just get an idea. First of all, you have to find out where you're at where are you at now? Where do you want to go? Get yeah. a roadmap. Pull up the map. You know, when you go on a trip, what do you do? You use the GPS. Well, you have to do it with your life, too. Because I would say, uh, and Risa and I have talked about this, one of the concerns is think ahead to where, you know, we're, we're okay. Uh, you know, Risa and I, and well, you're a little younger, Jeff, but we're in our 70s. We're getting around, but you know, time goes on, and it, it maybe plan for that time where maybe you're not in good enough shape to do this or that. So you want to have money because you may not be able to go out and do a little extra work or do this or that. So you want to have enough. What would you say you should have saved uh, to take care of uh, how many months in advance do you think you should have a nest egg with? Well, it used to be three to six months, James, but I like to see – six months or more just yeah. because life has changed last year, March of 2020. Uh, and we just don't know the future. You don't and exactly. Things happen. You know, I always think of, you know, my parents growing up and they live paycheck to paycheck. And every so often, my father used to keep his car forever. You know, that was getting good value. You buy the car, you keep it a long, long time, and you don't have any more payments. You know, you maybe have payments for three, four, five years, and then it's year six or seven. It's like free to them. That's the mindset. However, yeah. <clears throat> like all of us, sometimes we break down. And my father never had the money as the car broke down and it always did because it was older and then he had to go into debt and when you start going into debt. It's hard getting out. It's too easy to stay in debt. Yeah. They make it too easy. They give you a little card. And if you realize what kind of payments you're paying back in interest, you would never yeah. do this on your, never. You would never go out and I get like 20 sometimes, oh. I like sometimes on your bills, they will show you how much it will cost you if you pay it off in five years, 10 years, or 20 years for a car, for your credit cards, whatever. It's frightening. It's frightening. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, and also be aware that many people pay the minimum. And if you mm-hmm. pay the minimum, you're going to have the maximum. So yeah, never get out. Don't never think of that. But yeah. you, you pay the minimum, and then you have – you're not doing anything for you. It's not enough. You've got to set a plan. Okay, whatever that credit card debt is, how can I pay it off as soon as possible – with what I have coming in, what kind of payments? And it's, again, it's a habit, James. Yeah. It's a habit of starting something. And I just was on a phone call this weekend. Uh, I do my wealth builders and we were talking yeah, congratulations about. On your, congratulations on your wealth builder show. That's uh, drawing a lot of attention. Yeah, well, Executive. thank you. And we just have such great guests, and Eric does such a fabulous job of taking care of it, and his whole team, it's wonderful. But what I wanted to say, we were talking about a client, and they wanted to start a debt payment program. And they bring their checkbook out, and getting ready to to fill it out and sign it, they couldn't do it. Wow. But if you take the money from them where they don't miss it, it works. And we're not used to seeing our money. We see our plastic and we just think that's like the government printing <laughs> money. That You know, we can just use the plastic all day, every day. And that's just not true. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to run out. And it is. And same with the government. You know, it's easy for them to print money, but when is it enough? Yeah. When is it backed? You have to have it backed by something. Everything else, James, you do certain things for a while, and if you keep doing them, sometimes you have some challenges. Oh, yeah. And and you're on point. You have 50% of of the... uh, of boomers, 65 and under, are uncomfortable about their debt. And as far as the living, and they say they're living 15 years longer than their counterpart. So, you know, 15, 20 years, that's a lot of expense. And if it's not planned for, wow, can, uh, that can make an impact. Uh, so, you know, I, I shared the amount of money you should have when you retire. Let's go down to the younger people. What should they be looking at? Because one stat I read, the average made about forty-five, fifty a year, and they should have 11 times that amount in the bank, which is around a million. And they don't have that because, you know, we've shared the stats where some of them have 50, some of them have 20, and the percentages change for each, you know, for each group. But some only have 1,000, you know. Uh, what do you think somebody maybe in their 40s should plan on having when they're 65, uh, should they think of a certain figure, uh, so much percentage of their income? What do you think? Well, I think I've always used, as a general rule, a million dollars. That's what they, yeah, a million. Yeah. That's what I've used. However, more importantly than that, starting a saving program and with people working for companies, you typically have a 401k plan and a lot of times the companies match at a minimum, you do that match. So if the company is matching 3%, automatically you do 3% because you're doubling your contribution because they're matching you. And each year as a goal, the goal is to increase that every year. Yeah. And it's a habit, James and Rita, it's a habit of getting the savings habit in your mind. And then when you get your statements and you say, oh, my God, I can't believe I have so much. Well, that's great. And even if the market goes down, You're buying more when the market goes down with your newer money. But Mm. one thing about markets, 
they go up, they go down. And you don't put all your eggs in one basket. You diversify into different, different investments in your 401k. That's very good, or, uh, very oh, good tip there. It's a key. This is an incentive that the government is giving you that it's deductible, assuming the IRA will be deductible for you, depending on your circumstances. But it's a great thing to accumulate money because it's taken from you, especially with the 401k. Yeah. You don't see it, you don't miss it. Yeah, there was a study well, that Jeffrey, showed. Jeffrey, how can people get in touch with you? When is your show on so people can listen and learn? Solutions. Yeah, give us your information. Um, yes. And you're on the Easy Way Wall of Fame. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Yeah, Jeffrey Levine dot solutions. All right. And they can always text me at JLS five five six seven eight. Okay. And when five is the five radio six. show on? Excuse me. And when is the internet show on? Your your radio well, show. TV show. TV show, yeah. Yeah. Well, right now, it's uh, we're, we're doing interviews every Friday from 12 to 2. And as, as uh, once we get enough people and content, it will be going on Roku, Apple, and Amazon. Roku, okay. Apple. Okay. Well, Jeff, so that, we want to thank you again for coming on because this is golden tips here. And uh, with 50% of the boomers having 25000 or less in savings and some having none, they need this advice. And uh, that's why we want to keep pestering you, bringing you back on the show and getting this advice uh, so people can live more comfortably. Uh, it, take a little time, right, Jeff? Take a little time and energy now and plan it makes them more comfortable when they get older, and you wake up in the morning feeling better with a little in the bank. <laughs> well, I'm happy to help, and thank you, James and Rifa, for having me as a guest. I love doing it, and I love sharing some tips for your viewers. Thank you much. Well, thank you so Jeff, much. You're Jeffrey welcome. Levine, and uh, executive producer of Wealth Builders, and... Uh, and we're going to have Jeff back again. We're going to keep calling. But for that, time and for a commercial read, and then we're going to have Carmelita's Corner again. Always interesting guests on Carmelita's Corner. Looking to grow and align your brand with celebrities and other established brands? Your brand is all about your entire customer experience. Everything from your logo, your website, your social media experiences, the way you answer the phone, to the way your customers experience your staff. So why not let us help you get your branding right from the start? At Easy Way Promotions, we are a new class of professionals providing first-class online branding, promotion, social media, website development, editing, graphic design, public relations, media, SEO, and online advertising to give your business the competitive edge to stand out. Our highly experienced experts will not only help you increase your online presence, but also provide you with a proven online strategy to help you increase the value of your company and make acquiring new customers easier. So what are you waiting for? Contact us today and let us help you grow your business exponentially. For more information, contact 424-209-9290 or visit easywaypromotions.com. That's letter E, letter Z. We also encourage you to like our Facebook page at Easy Way Promotions. You are about to experience Carmelita's Corner. Carmelita's song, Rosebud, made it to the top 40s with the godfather of soul, James Brown. She's the founder of the Rose Breast Cancer Society. Now here's your host, Carmelita Pittman. Well, hello there, Radio Land. Here we are again, and 
I am feeling grand. <laughs> oh, yeah, rod-eyed and bushy-tailed and ready for another day, whether it's gray or cloudy or bright and sunny. And right now, like Jim and Rita said, it's a little bit on the cloudy gray side, but there's sunshine in our hearts, right, folks? Okay, here we go. I've got a wonderful guest for you today. Her name is Ernesta Wright, and I met her some time ago through a mutual friend who I hope is listening now. Her name is Dr. Copertino. And uh, Ernesto, uh, Ernesta is just a wonderful, beautiful lady. You should see her photograph if you already haven't seen it. She is an award-winning Lady, she's got so many credits, we'd be here all day long if I read them all off. So many awards, so many wonderful awards. She is the executive director of the Green Foundation, and it has given us decades of providing many benefits to the community. She hails from Orange County, and she has a Bachelor of Arts degree, and for more than a decade of experience, it has uh, she has provided breast health education. She has traveled and had a track record as an effective collaborator for outreach and programming with large organizations, including colleges and universities. The Green Foundation reaches Orange County, and it reaches out throughout the Bay Area up north. And as I mentioned, she is the recipient of multiple awards, a very accomplished lady. She's an exciting, engaging, and empowering presenter. And now let me welcome Ernesta Wright. Good morning, Ernesta. Good morning, Carmelita and everyone. This is exciting. Thank you for having me on. I hope you heard that applause. <laughs> that was I for you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun uh, doing this show. I meet so many wonderful people, and I'm very, very blessed to be able to share them with the world. So tell me about your journey. What led you to found the Green Foundation? You are the founder, correct? I know you're the CEO or the executive director. Ah, that is true, and thank you for that warm and exciting uh, introduction. And while you're reading, it's like, who is that lady? I'm the lady that just wants to serve. And so I have been on this journey for 21 years. And what was inspired was living in Orange County, and I'm a native of Orange County, as you shared, of an African American um, writing it, residing of less than 2%. But when I grew up in the area, it was more than 2%. But I did note that there was a lack of information for certain populations. And I am a strong believer in that uh, being solution-driven, and that is coming from a, a large family of being very resourceful. So when I saw that there was a need of just sharing information, I just start inquiring and start asking the questions, what did I need to do to help? And so when I just started, it was just I owned a beauty supply store for a number of years, and it was like a hub. So I was just distributing information about breast cancer and different types of cancers. And then when I start getting information from women who were diagnosed with breast cancer and that they did not have Uh, an opportunity to have a voice of some of their cares about their hair care, their pigmentation, or the overall treatment that I looked into it and saw what was I able to do to help support women who are very vulnerable when you're diagnosed with breast cancer. How could I help them to be that voice? And so that's when the journey started. So early detection in a lot of areas of health is really where we are now have branched out for many years of just talking about uh, uh, the cancers because if you're talking about cancer and early detection, that's a great thing. Early detection in any disease is very, very important, and using your health coverage is a key as well. So that's how I got started, uh, listening to the community and just felt 
tugged passionately of how can I lend a voice and hand of help the solution here in Orange County. And it expanded from Orange County to L.A. to some of the areas in the Bay Area, as you mentioned. So we have partners and longstanding team members who are interested in making sure that all voices are heard and that all voices and all individuals, no matter what ethnicity you are, get the proper health care as well as quality care. Well, that is so vitally important, Ernesta, and I congratulate you on the work you've been doing all these years and that you continue to do, and I am a personal benefactor of your outreach because uh, one of the people who I, you know, have in any uh, relationship as far as business goes was in dire need of financial help. And uh, mm-hmm. you sent out a check, a five hundred dollar mm-hmm. check, to help him pay yes. his rent. And I think that is amazing, what your the Green you. Foundation does. So not only do you uh, reach out to those that may need uh, some kind of information about breast health, you also have been a great help to the community in so many areas, and. Uh, I again, like I said, I congratulate you. And you have, like I have gone down your bio, and it's just really remarkable how many um, awards you have received and well deserved. And uh, you know, I also have another relationship with you too, because uh, some time ago you and I both were involved in promoting peace. And that's what we do. We're here on Earth to serve. We we promoted peace, and and we were part of the journey of the ladies in white, and um, the men in black joined in, and we had a peace march. And uh, Dr. Uh, Marcia Carpatino initiated that, and um, Mooney Aroni joined in. Uh, she's got her own organization now, Arts for Peace, which is a wonderful organization. They've had many fine events, including those at the Saban Theater in Beverly Hills, and now she's on another mission to promote world peace through the youth. So she has a a youth congress uh, that she's forming around the world. And people like you are the people that propel these kind of movements, and we need everyone to join in hands so that everybody can live a better life. And that's what you're aspiring to do, and that's what organizations like yours aspire to do. And when we can all join together, we can make a bigger movement and make it happen. Absolutely. That is so true. And I'm always wanting to be a part of the cutting edge or the a part of the change because we do look at how do we help push Uh, the movement further, whether it is peace, early detection, or access to health care, because we've had some opportunity to work with um, Covered California when they start initiating uh, the rollout initially of the new health coverage change with the uh, President Barack Obama Affordable Care Act, um, that rollout that they had uh, sought our advice because we're a community engaging and organizing and mobilizing. And when um, uh, Recently, the County of Los Angeles reached out to us to be able to help support with the vaccine and the testing to get the message out how important it is in hard-to-reach communities. But I often say these are not hard to reach if you connect with the right people and the stakeholders, and that is always connected to a budget and a contract. That places and areas can be accomplished, but when you're using the same methodology as everyone else, as the equity piece, the equality piece, things can happen. So I challenge those who are understanding how important it is to look at any geographic area or demographic area to see what area that needs the most attention. And in the healthcare area, it's called a triage. A triage is a term that physicians use that when there's any disaster, the triage is created to take care of the most critical and the most wounded in any situation. And so with the um, 
the data that showed and has continued to show for 20 some odd years, but it's been shocking to others how COVID-19 has been very devastating to African Americans uh, a plethora of reasons. Some must be pre-existing that they don't know anything about or know something about, or that they didn't have health coverage or the limited health coverage, or um, that they're concerned about their job taking off from work if they discover. So. Having a lens of looking at all areas of why we need this triage, that no matter who and where you are, that banner around taking care of the most critical. And right now it is. It is African Americans on different levels. And so if no one hears me that this is a great opportunity to turn uh, injustices to the right to do the right thing and that everybody is moved forward because we're living in a healthier uh, world and humanity uh, world. And I had heard uh, Carmelita, the other uh, host, and I was able to listen very intently and good stuff. I took notes when they were talking about how long you need to um, uh, plan for retirement. Well, you have to take care of your health. Because uh, you have to take care of your health to be able, one, to financially save, two, to be able to enjoy your latter years and your wiser years, as I like to call it. So health is very important for anyone. It's more important than your wealth. Um, so, so health is wealth, I should say, and that's what we say sometimes in our circle, that health is wealth and that you also have to do what the gentleman has said, Jerry has said, because I'm truly a believer in saving uh, for the future, but how this ties in together, and that I also believe in the testing. We are an organization that we educate and inform. So we want you to be informed. So the information we share, we want you to take the information from the experts. We want you to be able to uh, get your own knowledge, go to workshops, go to uh, different types of conferences, seek out um, uh, people who you trust, and contact your physicians to find out the answers or concerns about the testing or the vaccination to make your own decision. And I also know that there is, yes, a history of the United States of not being so fair, but we also know that, that we have other places in, uh, in place and practices in place and individuals in place to be able to trust um, our, uh, our, our Secretary of State, our, our Surgeon General, who is Dr. Nadine Burke Harris. Um, the California Surgeon General, who is promoting, we say, wash your hands. We know we've spent around the world billions of dollars of wash your hands. Well, as an adult, wow, we're still telling other adults, but we need to, right? Watch your distance. I still believe that we need to watch your distance from a health perspective. Wear your mask, as I heard some, what do I do, what do I not do? Well, I tell you to be informed. What do you want? to make sure that your your own healthy body take the initiative. So for me personally, well, I like options because when I feel that I want an uncomfortable area, that now it's both fashionable to wear a mask and you don't have to think that you're offending somebody. So I see it as a fashion statement now and it's taking care of my own health. And then um, I am vaccinated uh, for because one, I did do what I'm asking others to do as well to get the information for yourself. I sat on several meetings with Dr. Burke Harris, uh, different doctors. I reached out to physicians. I was, I'm thankful enough to have uh, medical doctors in my Rolodex, as well as call friends and, and health experts and researchers. And then the Green Foundation brought in a couple of pharmacists that we had learning sessions so individuals and uh, community or anyone could call or participate if they had any questions that this was a time to get them answered. So we creating those sacred and learning spaces for us to all to be informed and to be educated so individuals can make that decision on their own. And um, and I do like to make sure that people get the right information from the right resources, and then they can make their own decision. So Very of good. You and yes, uh, you gave us a mouthful, and a lot of people probably don't realize or are not knowledgeable about Dr. Kismikia Corbett. She is the scientific lead uh, who developed the Moderna 
vaccine, and she happens to be an American of African descent, and she's very beautiful. I saw her on television. She's from North Carolina. And uh, anyway, um, we're getting close. Uh, in fact, we are out of time now, Ernesta, and I want to appreciate you coming on and hope that the people gain some valuable information which you gave to everybody, and uh, I'm, again, very thankful for having you as a guest. Great. Thank you for having me on, um, Carmelita. Thank you so much. Okay. Smartphone, cell phone, PC, Mac, tablet, iPad. That's right. It's tech time. As Jane has said several times on this program today, we are in our 70s. Who the thunk we would have lived this long? Do you remember back in the day when the commercial came on and the woman said, oh, I've fallen and I can't get up? And we were all so young that we thought that that was just the funniest thing. Well, now we are that woman who falls periodically. We can't get up the way we used to. And we don't like to admit it, but it's the truth. So I want to talk about medical alerts. Now, back in the day, there was only one company that provided medical alert systems, bracelets, not neck lanyards. Now there are many. You never plan to fall. I know I certainly don't. But within the last couple of years, I have fallen. And just the other week, I fell out of bed. I don't know how I fell out of bed. I heard myself hit the floor. It was a loud thump. And then... I don't remember how I got back into the bed. The next thing I remember, I was in the bed. Now, the sad part is I have a medical alert, and I didn't wear it to bed because I bought one, I got one, I'm renting one, they are hooked up, but we don't like to think of ourselves as old. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to encourage you, Check with your HMO, your health plan, whatever type of health plan that you happen to have to see if they have a medical alert program. It's really worth it. Now, luckily, I don't think I was knocked unconscious, but I clearly missed a couple of minutes there. I normally cannot get up off the floor Even when I look under the bed for something, it takes me another two or three minutes just to get back up, to pull myself up. So who am I kidding that I don't need a medical alert program? So I just want to encourage everyone today, look into them. They're little electronic things. You can wear them around your neck. You can hook them onto your clothing. Some of them have GPS, so you don't even have to be at home. If you fall in the store, if you fall in the street, it will detect that you fell, and it will be able to pinpoint where you are and be able to send help. And I know people say, well, I can't afford it. Well, can you afford to live two or three days on your floor because you can't get up? Of course you can. Some of them are more expensive than others. You choose what you can afford. You choose what you need. But I want to encourage you, like I said, we don't plan to fall, but we do. And it's a little electronic gizmo. Some people say, I don't want a cell phone. It's too complicated. I don't want a computer. It's too complicated. This automatically detects when you fall has one button. You push it, and they'll come on, and they'll say, can I help you? And if you don't answer, they will send help. You can even give them the names of the people, your neighbor, your children, your grandchildren, whoever you want them to call if they're not able to reach you. So, again, it's a gadget. Yeah, it's a gizmo. Yeah, but it's one that will really help you. That's my tech time today. Jim, what's your gem? Okay, baby boomers, boomers. it's time time for for Jim. From Jim. That's right. And I, I know they uh, they mentioned Mooney Aroni, who we've known for a long time, the Arts for Peace. Uh, 
I, I remember so many times Eric's been associated with a lot of these successful project, projects, and I, in my mind, I'm thinking, I remember uh, he created the term Arts for Peace for Mooney, helped her get started with that. He's always thinking of something. So we're going to have a little fun. We're going to, our engineers searching for Eric. I'm going to give you a couple little, uh, we're talking about finances and investing and all that. This doesn't have too much to do with it, but you could relate it to, are you sure? Or maybe think about it. You want to think about it before you make a decision. You know, uh, it's like we talk about our trips, maybe do a little research. Think about it before you go to that state. They could have an issue there. Just take that little extra time. I'm going to give you a couple little questions here just for fun and see if you're absolutely sure about the answer. You can think the answer, but keep it in your head. Be be honest. Or you could jot it down, and then I'll give you the answers. Okay. Uh, there's a uh, old horror film, and there's a character that looked like he had a, a starch suit on, walked around tall with his black suit on. He had a flat head, bolts in his bolts in his neck, and he'd walk around. What's the name of that character? And number two, name the young elephant with the big ears that could fly. Okay, now, just real quick, jot it down. Don't go looking everything up. Keep it like, uh, just jot it down. Remember that, what you have in your head. If you were in a race and you passed the person in fourth place and then you passed the person in third place and then you passed the person in the second place, what place are you in now? And then uh, you walk into a room, and you only had one match, and there's a wood-burning stove, a kerosene lamp, and a candle. Which would you light first? Okay. You have your answers. Now let me give you the, uh, the answers that I have. The tall person with the bolt in his neck, yep, the name of it was the monster. He had no name. Uh, if you thought of Frankenstein, that was the name of the doctor that created it, but he never gave the monster a name. Uh, name the young elephant with the big ears. That's Jumbo Jr. They were laughing at the mother when they saw the baby, and he said, uh, I'm going to name it after the father, Jumbo Jr. And they laughed, and they said, you should name it Dumbo. So the name was Jumbo Jr. If you're in a race and you pass the person in fourth, and you finally pass the person in second place, you would be in second place. If you walked into a room and only had one match, and there's the wood-burning stove, the kerosene lamp, and the candle, which would you like first? Well, it would make sense. You light the match first. So anyway, uh, just a couple things for fun. Uh, when you think you have the right answer, kind of look up like that little icon and think about it, and uh, and that's how you make your investments. <laughs> but anyway, let's see if we got uh, – we're going to try to bring Eric in. Uh, we hear that drum roll out there. I'm looking at the screen. Yep, I think we got them. The screen right. And uh, there's several members we got to reach out for Eric. So are you on with us, Mr. Easy uh, Way? I am here. Hello, Dad. Hello, 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 Rita. Engineer, put bring bring Rita on. As I love Good talking morning. to Rita. There's Rita. Well, thanks for coming on, Eric. Reef and I are rocking and rolling here, and uh, this is kind of a little bit of a gloomy day. Well, the sun's starting to come out, and we had uh, yeah. yeah, I want to. I want to actually say I, I like your little riddle idea there. I think we should expand upon that, uh, and and maybe come up with you know a little fun game riddle type things uh, for the for the show, and and we can also bring in the audience to actually answer the questions rather than you giving us the answers, and we can actually make that fun and and interactive. Uh, that was, that was clever. Uh, yeah. So, so I don't have, a, and congratulations on that. Uh, I remember so many times people will be having something and, and it, it turns out uh, to be pretty successful and they'll say, well, you know, yeah, I remember, uh, talking there five years ago, he got me started. And I, I thought of that with, when, uh, Moni was mentioned on Carmelita show. And I remember you were uh, talking about, and, and you created the name arts for peace. So that was clever. Yes. Yeah. Well, I, we didn't just create the name; we created the brand and the logo and and a lot of a lot of the stuff. Uh, but I mean, all credit goes to Mooney. She made a, a lot of amazing things happen. We 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 helped bring a lot of the ambassadors and people that are she's working with. And I'm glad that we were able Mooney's to. Mooney's a hard uh, worker. We love Mooney. Yeah, well, I'm she glad. We're, I mean, that's what the Easy Way does. Is we we help to uh, to build major brands and influencers that can make a a, a a great difference. And we have a lot of great platforms now. And to, she has. To do 
She has and an now amazing she's wardrobe. starting her youth program, and my grandson is getting involved in her youth program. Oh, yeah, no, cool. de- definitely a lot of props and, and credit to, to Mooney. She's doing some amazing things, and she's always going to keep growing. And, and uh, you know, anybody that's listening to our our network and this uh, awesome show, Radio Boomers Live, go support. Check out M-U-N-N-I, Mooney Aroni. We, we, she was our client when she when, – when we – I mean, we go way back, way back, way back. Oh, we go but way right, back, so, yeah. So, so um, I don't so have a whole have, lot of time. We have Jeffrey but, Levine on the show tonight. Uh-huh. Jeffrey's great. Yeah, no, Je- Jeffrey's a client of ours too, and Jeffrey's amazing. I mean, uh, you guys he really is. didn't didn't tap into, you know, who Jeffrey is. I mean, first and foremost, uh, Jeffrey is the executive producer of a of a movie that's basically kind of like a, a continuance of of the secret, you know. The and and we have a lot of our wall of famers that are in the secret, uh, like Laurel Langmire and 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 so many, so a couple others, um, and Jeffrey is the executive producer. He's the one that put the money up pretty much for the, for the next movie. And he's just a really good, good guy. Good guy. And, and now, now we're helping him build the JLS television network. So if you were to, to imagine a streaming and television based NBC, like CNBC, kind of like shark tanks, uh, you know, the, the, the show shark tank and, and what that does for entrepreneurs and, and, and financial level people and, and really a network that can help you to position your financial planning and, and how to spend your money, how to uh, you know save your money, how to manage your money and, and deal with the biggest influencers in the world that are seven, eight figured influencers that know what they're doing when it comes to that. Uh, that's a network that we're, that we're building right now for Je- for Jeffrey and, and wealth builders is just unbelievable. I and mean, we've had uh, Laura Langmire and, and, and Les, the founder of Les Brown's Institute, uh, Eric, uh, Eric Stoller on, we've had Omar Perry, the, uh, one of the founders of LA fitness, the co-founder of, uh, yeah. of Entertainment television. I mean, it goes on and on and on the, 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 the knowledge that you learn from these amazing experts is very incredible. And that site will be launching, uh, you know, you, you, you could text the, the letters J L S to the number five, five, six, seven, eight, if you want to get more information, but yeah, I, yeah um, they're sharing really real golden nuggets. I mean, this is, this is stuff that would pop out of the book. If you want, if you're looking at a book and let the most interesting stuff pop out, that's what you're hearing on the uh, Wealth Builder Show. And well, I'll tell you, this is this is important stuff. I mean, I look back and go, whoa, I got to take notes yeah. on this. I wish I would have done. How many times, Reese, have we said that? I wish back then. You know, I, I wish I would have. Right. Well, you know, and, it's funny when we do the expert level shows that that have uh, just edutainment that others other people just can't provide of our wall of famers that are very successful people. I, I have people contacting me literally saying, man, I listened to that episode and I rewind it. And I, I and every single time exactly. I rewind it, I learned something new. I advanced that much more with my own business. Oh, yeah. You know, when's your next episode? When's this, when's that? And, and I, I wanted to also throw a little bit of stats out there too. Cause I, congratulations. Cause honestly, the network, uh, easy way radio, we've been with blog talk radio for a long time now. I heart radio, Spotify. And I mean, we've been out there, we're creeping up to 700,000 listeners. Listen, yeah, you know, so, can, yeah, you, can so you believe cool. that? Like 700,000 and we're getting an average of 500 to a thousand downloads, you know, per episode of the radio boomers live show. So I thought those were kind of impressive stats. We're hitting United States and Saudi Arabia, Germany, Canada, Spain, like all over the world, but 79.6% of the United States that we're covering. I mean, that's just, uh, wow. I think very wow. accomplishing. We we're getting, a lot of subscribers got a lot of subscribers on the network now. And, and uh, so we just appreciate all you guys out there that are subscribing and listening every week. And, you know, a network is only as good as the audience that supports it. So I wanted to throw that oh, out there. Totally. But let me, let me, let me say one thing. And then I, I do need to need to hop. I have a, I have a, 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 a zoom. And I mean, I, I probably do about 20 zooms a day now. Um, but so we, we recently, uh, got a really major distribution deal. And I want to, I wanted to talk a little bit about that with our television station, which is available on Apple, Amazon, Roku, Google play, Apple store. I mean, you can get our easy way network pretty much everywhere, but we just signed a major, 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 major distribution deal with the same network, uh, that, that powers and distributes, you know, like Mark Cuban's station access TV. And, and Sony and, and, and InfoWars, which makes millions of dollars a day, probably, you know, and they were involved with Donald Trump and, and, and Bloomberg television and Newsmax and just like, 
these amazing, amazing channels that everybody knows that are out there. And I, I just recently found out that the, the same company that powers and, and distributes and, 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 you know, uh, just is, is, is just everywhere. It's so huge. And it's on actual OTA over there programming actual, you know, television. They, they have a billboard in Times Square right now, right next to Netflix. It's like, it's huge. And we are now in that same caliber, you know, can you believe that? Like we are wow. now in the same, same caliber reaching 318 million homes with 40 something shows, 20 something channels. We're getting ready to be a, the, one of the main, uh, you know, channels and networks on their set top box and their, their platform. And, and I mean, I've never had so many phone calls in, in, in my life uh, and people that, you know, want to be on my show now and want to be on the network and stuff. And so it's that's amazing. pretty cool. We're, we're in 18 million homes just with the Phillips TVs, you know, distribution situation. I mean, the box is a hundred bucks. You pay 10 bucks a month, but you get 140 channels of those type of channels. You know, I mean, it's just incredible. So now and, and, starting June 1st, <laughs> officially guys, I'm announcing it June 1st you will be able to get easy way TV and all of our awesome educational programming and events. And, and uh, you know, we're going to have a lot of great content. I mean, we have a channel called what you need TV uh, with, with Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie, Lady Gaga, you, you name it, every star imaginable. I we, think, we, uh, we, I think uh, yeah, I think Rita remembers those days. Of course, Rita remembers those days. Come on, Rita. She hosted <laughs> for us left and right, man. That was, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, those, Boy, I'll those tell you, that was, we, we got some, you know, we have to sit around, Reed, sometime. we got to get together with some of us from back then and watch some of the old, uh, we got some really interesting footage. Well, well we're, we're going to be, uh, Reetha, Reetha's going to be involved with this, Dad, you'll be involved, everybody that was back in the day, everybody that was involved with us back in the day, I mean, we're going to go back 18 years ago when we started, back in the day, baby, since 2004 or <laughs> 5, you know, like, and we're going to, we're going to revive a lot of really cool stuff. I mean, I worked with a for oh. six and a half years i did all the behind the scenes with him like I, I i'm looking back at my career now i mean i'm a, I'm a two-time three-time best-selling author da, 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 with sharon Lecter, co-author rich dad poor dad and the founder make a wish foundation Wait. all this incredible stuff that i've now done today but i want to go back in the day and and i and take oh, the, yeah. the, the four thousand something it's videos that we have and and turn it yeah. into a documentary or something like that and yeah. i mean create a yeah. movie i don't know like i mean we're gonna do something real fun I remember the. Uh, the history, do you remember that one guy, Reed, the the beer? Uh, the, what was he called? The most interesting man in the world. That one beer. Uh, he was on our carpet. Oh. We're sitting around talking to him, and so many people like that. Well, wow. I, honestly, there's so many stories that we could we could be. I mean, I could shell out a hundred books, you know, just just yeah, just for the first you know year of of what. And I, those were. Know, we, we, we've had so many celebrities and so many, uh, you know, just change makers and so many events and red carpets and, and, and just things we've gotten involved with that, that is, is truly interesting, but it's, it's, it's the come up. It's how you yourself can actually come up from one microphone. The power of and what you, you can do that, from one microphone is unbelievable. You built that by yourself. Well, you know, the filming and stuff. Uh, up to 14 million viewers. You you shook Hollywood on that. That's because that those yeah. are the real stats. So if anybody's <laughs> and interested I have in, in, in what you're what you're what you're hearing, if you're interested in getting a show on the network, if you're interested in being on our Easy Way Wall of Fame and and really get involved with the community, following the movement and and expanding and and increasing your situation, monetizing your media. And if you don't have media, we need to you know create that media for you. Just call us at four two four. Two zero nine nine two nine zero, and go to Easy Way Info. Letter E, letter Z, W A Y I N F O. Easy Way Info. dot com, and that's like all of our our websites and everything that we we got going on, and our app, and everything's on that one one link there. And and I, I want to hear from the audience what we should call this because I, I you know as I'm talking about, I want to do a documentary. I want to do a film. I have start it. <laughs> I go back in some of these pictures in those days. I got a picture of Retha sleeping at a table. Retha, you remember that? No, yeah. I was asleep. Yeah, I was asleep. <laughs> you were sleeping at the table. It was a uh, paintball, a celebrity paintball uh, situation where oh, it was yeah. out in the in in the you know in the desert and it was hardcore. That was I an amazing up. day. You, you had shot. your gun. Eric got your... shot. Yep. I suited up and I went and ate and slept at the table. I didn't get shot. <laughs> you had your rough clothes, your army fatigues on, and you were all 
dusty and you had your gun there and you were just, your head was yeah, down on the table. I actually, had the picture. What you're actually talking about is a nonprofit that we work with, uh, worked with uh, called Peace Fund, uh, the Peace Fund. And, and, and that was the Peace Fund Games. I believe that was 2018 or 17 uh, somewhere around there, and and uh, my friend Adrian Paul, who was the star of Highlander, uh, founded that, and it was actually I hosted with him, and I I got into into the actual field, and let me tell you, man, paintball is no joke. That hurts. I mean, I I, I remember yeah, when I got yeah. shot, I, I got shot in in the neck because you know it, it hit my skin, and I and I felt like I got stung by a bee or or oh, something, something, and I'm like, ah, oh, man, that I got stung, and then I like felt the paint, and I'm like. Oh crud! This is what this, guys, this feels like. <laughs> Eric, you guys were in the fields. You had the clothes on. I went out there, supposedly, uh, you know, protected with. I, I didn't just have a shirt on. I didn't have any protective clothing because I was supposed to be protected as cameraman. You're supposed to leave the camera on. Low. Boy, I got out there and pop, pop, pop. Yeah, yeah that God. you were. You were you were like a reward, like everybody tried to shoot the pa- cameraman. You know, you weren't supposed to. And, and camera, yeah, that's, green that's how, paint that's how you roll, Dad. Like you, you don't follow the rules. You want to get the footage. You want to get what really ma- matters. <laughs> well, you know? that was and, something and, else. And I was shocked when I saw that, and that, and I I, I I I I tried to protect you or uh, you know, but I, I couldn't. Well, I got you know? back with green paint all over me and the camera. Yeah, you were in the line of fire. Though. <laughs> yeah, I was in line, but it was, it was but fun. This is this is my this is my point. What we, what we just talked about is like is like a chapter in a book. Is 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 like an episode. Is like a documentary. You know what I mean? Like there's there's thousands of stories like that. And I mean, we haven't even gone into the celebrities that are that were involved with that. There's like 40 celebrities. You know, my my I, I, a couple of my friends. I mean, right now they're they're big stars on Netflix and they're doing all these big things. You know, but you go back in the day and we got pictures and footage of 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 that fun. You know, that's another thing uh, yeah, that we're going to yeah, be putting out yeah. on the network. You know, it's, it's just, there's so much work that go- we need editors, by the way, if you're an editor out there, if you edit, contact us, please email us at easy at gmail.com letter E letter Z, you know, but, but we have all this stuff. We have all this content, man. Oh, I mean, we can, right, we can, right. we can really create such an amazing network that people are going to love to watch and they're going to love to be a part of it. Boxes, 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 and boxes and bags, bags for those little, little, little tapes. Because it wasn't digital, it wasn't digital. Anything, it wasn't right? the, it wasn't little chips. chips. It was regular tapes. And I got hundreds of those things. Jeez. Well, we have we have a lot of great stuff we'll be putting out. And, and if you guys are interested in what you're hearing uh, and you want to follow it, I mean, on Facebook you just search Easy Way pretty much anything. Uh, and and EasyWayFam.com is our main group on on Facebook. I have my show by the way too. Uh, tomorrow I'll be do I'll be actually with. The co-executive producer with Dick Clark, when they started the Family Film Wars, they did with CBS, uh, and 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 they've been doing it for 23 years. Uh, honored you, Dad, is the, with the Parent Award, and, yep. and I mean this I guy started award, with Jack, award, yeah. Jack Valenti and and some of the top celebrities in the industry, and 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 this guy is literally like like wanting to pass the torch to the youth, and 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 calling me the youngest Dick Clark, and all these different amazing things, and so he's my guest coming up tomorrow, if you guys want to you know, join in, it's live, just go to easyway.tv, uh, and then just click live, uh, that'll be live, yeah. and then we have yeah. our, our app, but that, that that's a fun, fun show, and then after him, we have Bill Duke, who's the star of Black Lightning on CW yeah, and Net, Netflix and Predator and all that fun stuff. And it never stops. It never stops. And, I and have a, all, I all the, the fun, all the fun, remember this, guys, is on Easily Wall of Fame. And we, we build a community. We build our own little Facebook. We build our own our own little social community that, that totally benefits you guys. You have, you have your own profile. You earn rewards. and But you're able to get access to people that you normally wouldn't get access to. And, and it's free to create an account. So, you know, easywaywallofame.com and everything we do is there. You'll see the blog stuff and all that. I got to hop, guys. I, I got I got 1130. I got to get, okay. get, get ready for it. Always yeah, a pleasure. Thank you, Retha, Dad. Uh, always fun reminiscing with you guys. And, and if you guys want to follow me, Eric Zuley, just search it anywhere on the internet, Z-U-L-E-Y. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm here to serve, here to help. And, and I'm so glad to have you, Retha, Dad. You guys are really – you, you've created something amazingly special as a platform that people are really following now and enjoying. It's great, great content, so we appreciate the show. Well, thank you for well, popping thank in, you, Eric. And it's always great to have you on and to hear from you. And like I said, the only man I know with his own theme song. <laughs> yeah, you know, we, we, 
We've got to, uh, we should have a, uh, well, it would take, probably take more than a night, but we should have a WTV, uh, you know, what do you call it, when you reminisce and show some of the footage and videos, it's some really interesting, and, you know, behind the scenes with Black Eyed Peas, and we're hanging out with Verdeen White at his house from uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire. There's so many of those, uh, with Akon and everybody, uh, Richard Dreyfus. uh, when we got we were with uh, do you, well you know problem is Reese, some of the people don't remember but you would you probably remember Rosie Greer do you remember Rosie absolutely oh yeah see some of the younger people on the show wouldn't but he was a superstar football player we were at the golf course with him at uh, at Rancho Palos Verdes on the ocean there and uh, just so many interesting uh, situations it, it was it was quite an experience and here we are. 2021. Wow. It sure goes fast, though, doesn't it, Reese? <laughs> yes, it does. And you said you had business to handle today, and you were going I'm to getting be late. exactly yeah. on time, and you are not. Here we so go. I'm, I'm supposed going to get out to, here at 11. Yeah, I'm going to push you on so you can handle your business this morning. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's fun, though. All right, guys, well, Reef and I are going to sign off until next Monday morning at 10 o'clock. So tune in, Radio Boomers Live. Until then, keep moving, keep the faith. And I guess, Reef, we're going to be signing out, right? Have a wonderful week. We'll see you next Monday. So long, guys. Thank you for listening to Radio Boomers Live with your hosts, Reefa Gray, star Betty White's Off Their Rockers, and EZ's dad, Jim Zuli. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at Radio Boomers Live. Radio Boomers Live is brought to you by the Easy Way Broadcasting Network. That's the letter E, the letter Z, Broadcasting Network. <laughs>